A teenager's death could have been prevented. That's what lawyers representing his family are saying. The scathing lawsuit against an area hospital is our top story on Newswatch 16 at 6. Good evening, I'm Scott Schaefer. Lease is off. The teenager's family has filed a medical malpractice lawsuit against Wayne Memorial Hospital and the boys care team. Newswatch 16's Courtney Harrison heard new details from the family's lawyer today, and she joins us with that. Courtney. Scott, the family's lawyer alleges Wayne Memorial had the information to save the 16-year-old Samson Fluck last fall, but failed to do so, re resulting in his death. It's been more than five months since 16-year-old Samson Fluck died unexpectedly, and now his family is suing. The family hired personal injury attorney Matthew Casey to handle the case. Samson's family says he was a healthy and active teenager who played several sports, so when he was complaining of chest pain and was having a hard time breathing, they were concerned. According to the lawsuit, on November 3rd, Samson and his mother went to the emergency room at Wayne Memorial Hospital in Honesdale. Casey says some preliminary blood work was done along with a chest x-ray. After examining the x-rays, a radiologist made a note that there was an abnormality and recommended a CT scan. According to the lawsuit, that scan was never done. Instead, Samson's mother says they were told everything was normal and that he just had a combination of a cold and strep throat. This was known uh, on this day uh, prior to uh, Samson being discharged from the emergency department. Samson was sent home from Wayne Memorial, but two days later, his condition worsened. Samson, struggling to breathe, collapsed, and his stepmother called 911. He was taken back to Wayne Memorial, where he died. He was grabbing at his throat and telling his stepmother, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And the reason he couldn't breathe is this mass that they knew that he had was compromising his airway. Casey says an autopsy revealed the mass was a treatable form of cancer. Casey says doctors had all the information to make a proper diagnosis. What should have been the luckiest day of his life turned out to be uh, the worst and unluckiest day of his life and his uh, heartbroken parents' life, uh, and it never should have happened. We reached out to officials at Wayne Memorial Hospital, and they declined to comment at this time. 